question. In your last Q&A, you said you decided to take the vaccine. My friends and I were surprised by this. Is it safer than I think? I don't know. You know, why did I get the vaccine? Well, balance of risk, I suppose. Um, I don't need COVID. Um, I've had enough health trouble and I had COVID. So I had COVID and I got the vaccine because some blood markers indicated that my immunity might not be what it should be. Was it the right thing to do? How the hell do I know? I don't bloody well know. Um, I don't think the vaccine makers are conspiratorial fundamentally or any more than any other organization. Um, my wife was very ill in recent years and is somewhat immunocompromised. So that entered into it. I wanted to stop worrying about COVID. Um, it seemed to me that the evidence that case rates plummeted after the vaccine was strong. I've had vaccines before and they don't seem to have hurt me. Um, I felt some obligation not to be a carrier, although I would say that wasn't the prime issue. I'm sick and tired of the lockdown and assume that if in Canada we reach a certain threshold of vaccinated people that it'll be done with and I'm ready for that and willing to take some risk for it. Um, but, you know, I have family members who don't want to take the vaccine and I can certainly understand why and I'm not beating my chest at them. So, balance of risk. I was more concerned about not getting it than I was about getting it. So I got it. And I'm not saying that's any moral accomplishment on my part. It was just, it seemed like the, tired of the lockdown. And so I'm tired of worrying about it. Not that I was worrying about getting COVID that much, but you know, it gives me some moral authority when I say enough of this as well, you know, when these rules that have been applied to us curtailing our civil liberties, like I had the goddamn vaccine, so get out of my face. And maybe that's the fundamental motivation. <laughs> All right. Thank you for listening, assuming you're still listening. See you at the next Q&A.